Hi guys, and welcome to Pandora's Box. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another useful Mac app, which is called Tinu. At least I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. It's a useful little utility for creating bootable Mac OS installers. As always, the links for download will be in the description below. So let's begin. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up your web browser and go to my favorite website, github.com. And in the search, I put Tinu. And it's traveling time, I've heard the top entry, click on that. And from the right hand side, click latest and download the zip from the assets. This will unzip it into your downloads folder. We can now quit the web browser and open up the downloads and move it to the applications folder. There you go. All done and installed. So let's use it. So the first thing you'll need to do is open Tinu from the applications folder. Double click. You can close that window once it's done. As it's first time running, it will ask to open. So just click the open. Close the notifications. Here you'll be given this menu choice. We're creating the Mac OS installer today, so we click on that and then click on proceed. It's now getting a list of the drives that you have to find the one that you want to install. I have an external SSD, I will select that. Now I must warn you that anything on the drives that you choose, it's, it's going to be formatted so you will lose data. So if you have any data that you require, back it up somewhere else before doing this. So I click on my external drive, click next. Now, if you have downloaded any um, Mac OS installers before, it will find them, whether it's in the applications folder, which is where Apple puts them or not. I already downloaded some installers using another app called Mist. That's in a previous video that I've done. A link will be in the description below to that. And we're going to use one of those installers that I downloaded. So we're going to do Ventura. Click Next. Oh yes, if you, if you don't have it, um, there will be, if you have a look here, the chance to download it yourself using Git Installer, but I already have it, so I'm going to use Ventura. There you go. This is the warning telling you that you will lose the data, like I said, and it's going to reformat it. So we click yes, and it begins to do it. Now it will ask for your password that you use to log in to start installing. And away we go. You can see over here it has already named the drive and it will get on with it. Now this is going to take a little while to do, so I'm going to speed this up till the end and we go from there. And there we go, it's finished, we can quit, and we're done. You can now use this to boot from and install macOS on your Mac. If it doesn't boot straight into the installer, as you start up your Mac, hold down Shift and you'll be able to choose the installer from the boot options, and go from there. As always, feel free to comment, click like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to receive notifications of any new videos I upload as it all helps the channel. And thanks for watching.